one of the real uh, surprises to me from all of this, I mean, there's been a lot of problems, goodness knows, in Zimbabwe for some time. They don't even have their own currency at this point. They use U.S. dollars, right? They got 95% unemployment. They've got a lot of problems in the country. That's not a secret. One of the surprises to me, they have a Bitcoin exchange. And Bitcoin went through the roof in Zimbabwe. What does that tell us about Bitcoin as a flight to safety? Yeah, I mean, I think it's to a certain extent, Bitcoin is the modern version of gold. You know, one of the big surprises, I guess, in this whole process is gold has never really taken off the way you would expect with the amount of liquidity that's been created globally. Uh, and I think what we're seeing is that that we are seeing this sort of more speculative element moving into Bitcoin uh, as a way to to gain that exposure. But again, it 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 it. It's another indication that rather than being necessarily a, a currency or a store of value, Bitcoin is something that people run to in times of stress when they don't want to be uh, discovered, their identity found out, and everything else. So, um, you know, I, I don't think this is necessarily a good thing in terms of the development of Bitcoin, but what it suggests, like capital flight from China that we think drove prices higher. You know, this is really a sign of stress and, and a way for people to, uh, uh, to move capital without being discovered. But is that where its principal value comes from, is basically anonymity or secrecy? Because if that's true, that may will, well limit, ultimately, its role. Well, I, I don't use value in Bitcoin in the same sentence, but yeah, I mean, I think that is its, its source of, of, of greatest interest is anonymity. And, and to me, that suggests that its inherent um, growth long term is really limited by the fact that there are only a certain number of people who are going to want to do that. And second, you know, you just don't have the safeguards. If you lose money in, in, in one of the exchanges, you don't go to the FDIC and can say, can you make me whole and the like. So, so I think, it, again, it, it has a very uh, concentrated area of interest in terms of who's interested in it and why they're interested in it. But I think that's still going to be a very, very small percentage of, of total money in the, in the global economy.